Hello again friends. Kindly accept my serious apologies for the delay in uploading this video. But I am sure the number of topics we will be covering in this video will compensate the delay in the best way possible. In this video, we will see how different environments demands different types of light sources. The environment around us consists of so many lights which has its own unique quality and characteristics. In order to make any 3D scene look believable, we must make sure that we are using an appropriate light source given in any 3D software which represents the light which is applicable for that particular scene. For example, while lighting an exterior day scene, we need to have a light which will represent the key light which happens to be the sun. So, to show the parallel shadows which are being cast by the sunlight, the most appropriate light to do so will be the directional light given in Maya software. If directional light is put in a scene with proper illumination and have appropriate light direction and shadows as per the time of the day, our exterior scene will have an ideal look and feel of a sunny day. Not just Maya software, even 3D Studio Max has similar tools for lighting. For example, if we want to imitate a skylight, there is a light which is present in 3D Studio Max called as Sky Dome. The name itself is self-explanatory as it illuminates all the objects uniformly and also casts very soft shadows just like the sky in real environment. Now since we have a fair idea as to how lights differ from each other, let's have a look at all the lights types which are provided in Maya. We will have a look at the lights of the softwares like 3D Studio Max and V-Ray in upcoming videos. Number 1. Spotlights A spotlight behaves exactly how it sounds, like a real spotlight, and provides a very direct source of light. The spotlight is emitted through a cone and you can control how wide the cone angle is which determines how much of the area is actually illuminated. Objects closer to the spotlight will be brighter and depending on how wide the cone is, the light will either be softer or harder. The examples of spotlights are a torch, car headlights, lighthouse, stage light, projector, study lamp, street lights, etc. Number 2. Point lights. Point lights are the most common light types found in 3D software. A point light is very similar to an incandescent light bulb that emits lights in all the directions. You can think of a point light as a sphere of light filling an area. Objects closer to the light will be brighter and objects further away will be darker. Point lights are a great way when you need to illuminate areas with a smooth fall off in all the directions or create a light that has a single point as its source, like a lamp or candle. Each 3D application calls a point light something different, but the purpose and end result is the same. Maya refers to these lights as point lights, whereas 3D Max calls them omni lights. The examples of point lights are candle, chandelier, bulb, fire beacon, street lamps, fireflies, etc. Number 3. Area Lights An area light is a light that casts directionally light rays from within a set boundary, either a rectangle or a circle. This type of a light is perfect for recreating fluorescent lights or something that is rectangular. Ceiling light for example, light shining through a window or fluorescent ceiling lighting. All other light types emit light from a single point whereas an area light emits light from an entire area which is generally more realistic. This type of light does have a cost when it comes to render time because computer needs to process all these extra light points. Cinema 4D and Maya both refers to these lights types as area lights, soft image refers to them as a light box, 3D Max calls them MR area spotlight. Examples of the area lights are monitor lights, hoardings, windows, roof lights, commercial office lights, etc. Number 4. Directional Lights A directional light mimics the lighting that you would get from the sun. Directional light emits parallel light rays in a single direction, but the light reaches out into infinity. You can think of a directional light as a giant flashlight very far away from your objects, always centered and it never dies off. 
you can rotate the lights in any direction because a directional light represents a distant light source like the sun its x y and z coordinates mean nothing only its rotation values matters this type of light is perfect when needing to illuminate a city or large open spaces in 3d studio max these light types are referred to as either free directional lights or target directional lights the only difference being that the target directional light uses a target object to aim the light both softimage and cinema 4d call them infinite lights whereas maya calls them directional lights number 5 a volume light is very similar to a point light emitted omnidirectional rays from a single point unlike a point light though a volume light has a specific shape and size which affects its its fall off a volume light can be changed to any geometric primitive like a cube sphere cylinder or a cone the volume light only illuminates objects within its volume meaning if you want the object to be lit up the volume light will need to be placed around the objects maya is the only 3d application that has a light option called a volume light that creates a volumetric light most of the 3d application do this through different light sources and settings for a given light type the most common use of this type of light is to create volumetric light patterns which is used to show beams of light shining through the environment like fog or streaming through an open window other examples can include a fish tank a lava lamp crystal ball etc number 6 ambient light an ambient light casts a soft light rays in every direction it has no specific directionality so it does not cast any shadows or shading and simulates more of a secondary light that is coming from all different angles and is applied to all the objects in the scene the ambient light is a great for filling in areas or a render that do not have enough illumination ambient light is also great for creating cartoony like light effects for your scene depending on your light settings maya refers to this effect as an ambient light and in soft image it is called a flat light experiment with these different light types in 3d application to see the effects that it has on your scene it is best to use different light types in conjunction it is very rare that you will be able to get the job done with just one single light so i hope the samples and examples which we have seen so far has given a fair idea as to how every scene can be illuminated appropriately using different types of light i am sure in the upcoming videos we'll be able to cover a lot more topics considering the clarity we have with regards to the fundamentals of lighting as well as its technical implementation in softwares like maya i will be uploading a new video soon thank you all so much for your kind support do share and subscribe to this channel for latest videos thank you